y'all and welcome back and thank you guys so much for watching today we are going to be doing a video on these new makeup releases I did one of these a about a week ago and it was makeup releases I will not be buying but this one's kind of gonna be a little bit different a little less harsh this is gonna be makeup releases I would buy or not buy I guess you could call this like a purchase or pass type video um, or a get or ditch I don't know I don't think anybody's called it get or ditch. I know people have called it purchase or pass, but I can call it get it or ditch it. Get it or ditch it. I don't know. I can put a country spit on it, you know? I'm this, yeah, whatever. Anyways, um, yeah, so let's get on to the video but first if you haven't entered my giveaway I'll link it up here or put it down below and go enter I'm giving away the Jeffree Star mystery liquid lip shade and the ColourPop strawberry shake palette so go enter if you haven't already and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe it would mean the world to me and now let's go ahead and get to these new releases that was really weird I'm sorry okay so we're going to start this out with a bang okay and this is a ColourPop release surprise surprise um but they're coming out with a peach palette and it's beautiful it's beautiful I, I'm I'm buying it 100% this is called the um uh, da, 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 what is it called baby got peach yes Look at it, it's so freaking pretty and so cute. Oh my God. You have, you know, nine shades and it looks like this one shade, Hungry Ghost, is another one of those glitters that are not eye safe, which kind of sucks. But of course this palette is gonna be $12 and they're also gonna have a, it says a new brown BFF mascara and liquid liner duo for 15. Um, a pressed powder blush, which there's three of them I believe. Yeah, there's three and they're 15 each. No, they're eight dollars each. And then there's a you want a peach of me super shock shadow trio for 15. Um B Mrs. Extra Extra This Just In is a new shade. So that's a new shade. And then uh B Bellini BB Lippy Bundle for $12. Peach please, just a tint duo, $12. Give me s'mores and rise and shine are the colors on there which <laughs> these sound like britney spears songs if you guys were a britney spears fan these names literally sound like her songs like other than baby got peach because clearly that's a different one um but you want a peach of me you know that song you want a piece of me or um extra extra this just in that's also in the song you want a piece of me um, and then give me s'mores it's like give me give me more you know what I'm saying anyways moving on this collection's amazing I'm so buying it end of story and another product is apparently brand new and this is by Diana Madison it's a glowtopia a face oil um, which is a prickly pear seed oil and it's available now it is said to have confidence in a bottle. I'm not gonna buy that because I don't really need a face oil. But if you need a face oil and you wanna try out a new brand, then go ahead. I'm not sure of the price. Um, oh, no, $45. Pass, 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 pass. Next is from BH Cosmetics. This is take me to Ibiza so it's like take me to Brazil but Ibiza this eyeshadow palette looks so pretty and it's only $20 and you get all of those shades yeah this might be one I might buy just because I wanted the take me back to Brazil palette but I just never got it but this one's new and I kind of want it so I might buy it it's only 20 bucks and you get all these shades and I'm sure it's really good well, we'll, we'll, we'll probably buy it and we'll, we'll check it out. Next up, this is new from Huda Beauty. This is a dual ended eyeliner in black matte. It's called the Life Liner. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna tell you right now, I'm not gonna buy this, but packaging wise, it's actually kind of cute. It's a dual. So one side is like liquid liner, the other one's just like 
pencil liner. So there's that. And then another thing is from Benefit. And does this say tickle? Cookie and tickle. That's funny. These are highlighters. They're $30 each. Cookie is a champagne glow and tickle is a golden pink glow. These are really pretty, but I'm not going to buy them. I don't really have anything else to say about it other than I'm not going to buy them. Oh, here we go. There's another Huda Beauty product. This is a uh, Oh My God Makeup Remover Balm. Okay. And a new lash style, and it's called Hoodie. I don't want it. So, yeah. So, Fenty Beauty came out with new shades to their matchsticks. Um, I'm not interested in these. I don't like any, like, stick type product. Um, but they're $25, and these are a magnetized makeup stick and a long wear light as air shimmer formula to highlight blush and enhance. So, yeah, here's the new shades. Um, again, I don't want anything in stick form. I'm good. Uh, pass. So, Too Faced is coming out with a new uh, holiday gingerbread palette. This one's called Extra Spicy. And I didn't really care too much about the other one. Um, but this one, I kind of like the tones in this one a little bit more. But I'm probably not going to buy it. And this is a holiday 2019 like sneak peek and there's another one from Too Faced. It kind of, for some reason, even though it's like a completely different thing, it reminds me of like Beauty and the Beast. I don't know why. Um, yeah, I think it's a cute concept, this little palette bronzer blush thing. Um, the palette kind of reminds me of the Urban Decay Elements palette. But, I don't know, me as a grown woman, I don't really find this too cute, I guess. I feel like this is more geared towards younger uh, people. <laughs> um, and I, I don't know, I just don't like the vibe of this whole palette, so I'm not into it. Ooh, but you know what I'm into? The, oh my god, this is called the Norvina... What is this? Volume 1. Norvita Volume 1. This palette is so pretty. I don't know about these lipsticks, but the palette itself is freaking gorgeous. I'm not going to get it because I don't wear purple eyeshadow. I don't think I look good in like a dark purple, so I'm not going to get it. But if I did look good in purple, I would still buy it because this is so pretty. And honestly, all these like, what is this, liquid lipsticks, they all look the same to me. I don't know why. I just, I, don't, I can't really tell the difference. So, no. Another thing from Fenty Beauty, they came out with a new brow pencil and it's supposed to be ultra fine. And they're only $20 each, so, so far, that's good. That's better than the Anastasia price. That's better than, like, the benefit price, I think. That's a really good price point, actually. I think it's falling just under the rest of them. And another thing that sets them apart is it comes with a paddle brush on the other end. And they have light blonde, medium blonde, dark ash blonde, soft red, auburn, true red, dark auburn, ash brown, light brown, medium brown, dark brown, black brown, soft black, and deep black. Okay, I just know when I buy brow pencils, I just get blonde, and honestly, I won't know what blonde shade I would want, light, medium, or dark, but I love that there's these options for different eyebrow colors, so that that's really cool. Um, I might, I might, I might buy one. I don't have a Sephora like close to me, but I might just eyeball it and just get one offline because $20 honestly is not bad. So I might try that honestly. Oh, this I'm so excited for. Okay, so Millie Bobby Brown's coming out with her own brand. It's called Florence. Is it just Florence? It's Florence by Mills, and it's geared towards, like, a younger audience, but, like, it's so pretty, and, like, everything is so minimalistic looking, and I kind of want to try something from here. I'm not sure what I will try. We'll have to, we'll have to wait and see what I want to get, but just from these, this image, you know, oh my god, it looks like it's, she's going to have some success with this, 
she didn't make a bunch of money off of Stranger Things. She's going to make a lot off of her new beauty brand, okay? Oh, this is actually so pretty. And I might, I might get it. This is another collaboration that's a Disney collab. And it's by, I think you pronounce it B Same Cosmetics. Best, I don't know. B Same Cosmetics. We're going to say it in an easier way. Um, this is the Sleeping Beauty Collection. And this palette, okay. Hold on. Sleeping Beauty was my second favorite movie growing up. First, it was The Lion King, then it was Sleeping Beauty, and then it was Peter Pan, and then Lady and the Tramp. The colors in this palette literally speak true to Sleeping Beauty, and I love that. I love the fact that this palette looks like a Sleeping Beauty palette. Like, the colors just go really well. And... Yeah, okay, so the eyeshadow palette is 68, and I'm seeing it says with base, it's 78, I don't know what that means, so we'll have to see in the future, but there's also a translucent powder, which, you know, I don't need, that's for $18, a, a Briar Rose Bush palette, that's so cute, um, for $35, a Locket Cream Rogue, I don't know what that is, maybe it's just like a lip thing, um, and lipsticks and then the, sh the name's called make it pink make it blue or make it blue make it pink and then sleeping butte pink and maleficent and the lipsticks for sure i definitely want i want that make it blue make it pink because that's just fun i don't know i just something about this collection just makes me really happy and i want it so not everything but i like the lipsticks and the palette so we'll see and then Trend Mood actually has an eye kit right now, and it's in collaboration with Milani. Um, honestly, I'm not into it. The colors are pretty, but I'm kind of, I don't know, I just, I'm not drawn to it. And I tried a lip pencil from Milani, and I tried their foundation, and I hated both of them so bad. So I feel like just based off of those, I kind of gave a bad first impression with that so I don't know I I don't know I don't know I'm just gonna move on I, I'm gonna move on next we have something from KKW and it's KKW X Kylie and they came out with these lip fragrances um, I'm gonna keep this really short and just say no no thank you and let's move on to the next Kat Von D she's bringing out another product again this is the oh what is this called true portrait lightweight medium foundation and it comes in one of these like dropper packages that reminds me of those little uh, liquid like sour candies that you drop onto the like hard piece of candy and you eat the sour stuff that's what it reminds me of i was a manager of a gas station for five years so all I think about when I see that is children's candy from having to order it and stock it so um that's what I see when I see this product um but I can tell you 100% I'm not gonna buy this I will never buy anything Kat Von D um and that's the story there it's very short I'm not gonna buy anything from Kat Von D no ma'am so Beauty Bay is coming out of the cloud with a Mama Mitchell and it's a palette and it's actually kind of cute. I kind of like it. I like how like the mirror is separate from the palette. That's really cool actually. Um, but I don't know. I like, I like the colors in here. They're very like bold and they're really cute. It has 24 mattes and 36 shimmers. And it says 32 pressed pigments, extra large pigments, extra large pans. So I'm wondering how big is this palette? So it's a pretty big palette. Okay. I don't know. It's $36. I know I'm not going to buy it, but it's really, really pretty. So, <laughs> okay, Too Faced. I don't know what you're thinking. I mean, I get it. I get the idea. You can buy this new watermelon collection or what is this? It's new additions to the Tutti Fruity family, and it's this palette. It comes, I think, apart in two parts. There's like a face side, eyeshadow side. I am not into it. I don't know. I just, I think it's the packaging I don't like. That's just drawing me away. I don't like it. Uh, and then the hangover spray. 
Mm-mm. Um, the glosses are pretty, and I, I mean, you know, whatever. I, don't, I just don't like this collection. I'm not, I don't really like the Tutti Fruity collection in general, if I'm being completely honest. Um, so I'm just gonna stop there and move on. So the last thing I'm gonna be talking about today is this new Naked palette from Urban Decay. It's the Naked Honey palette. And I don't really have much to say about it because I don't think this palette at all reminds me of Honey. Even though I know Honey isn't like yellow, um, it's just, I don't know. I just feel like their palettes are just so boring, so I don't want it. So, yeah, that's the last thing I'm going to talk about. I'm going to say no. Um, I just, I don't know. I don't like this palette either. So what are your thoughts on all of these items that I mentioned? Are you going to want to get anything that is a releasing that I talked about? Um, is there anything in here you are agreeing with me on that just is a pass? Um, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Let's talk about it. And if you guys like these videos, please give it a thumbs up and let me know and I can continue to do them. And don't forget to subscribe. It would mean the world to me. And don't forget to enter my giveaway. Remember, link down below. And thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!